Okay, now for question number 26, which is about angles in circles from the specimen paper 2 for the new IGCSE. And one of the things you notice here, and um, which is kind of newish, is they're asking you to give reasons for your answers for finding angles, which is something which a lot of students don't know how to do. So you have to understand how to do this and knowing the reasons for your answers. Now this is a question here. Uh, we got to find the value of x and y. It says a, b, c and d are all on the circumference of the circle. So this is called a cyclic quadrilateral. It should trigger some um, you know, facts in your mind about angles in circles. It says x, y is a tangent to the circle at a. And it says find the value of x giving a reason for your answer. Okay, now there's um, lots of different ways of, of finding x and most of them require some sort of um, you know, some sort of adding some extra lines to here to try and find it. Uh, if you were to understand a very simple um, fact which a lot of students don't know or don't know how to apply, it's called the alternate angle, sorry, the alternate segment theorem, okay, you will be able to find x straight away. Because basically when a tangent meets a chord, this is not the radius here, this is a chord. Okay, so the tangent meets the chord. So this is xy meets ad. The angle between the tangent and the chord, which is, this here is 55, will always be the same as the angle that is standing on the same chord. So what other angle is standing on this chord, ad? Well, it's this angle x. So the angle between the tangent and the chord will be the same as the angle standing on that same chord on the opposite side of the circle to the tangent, like the alternate segment they call this is This is one segment, this is another segment. So this is 55 and x will also equal 55. So you can say x equals 55 and all you can say is if you put alternate segment we can say it's in the alternate segment to if you write something like that it should be fine because it is in the alternate segment okay of AB of the chord AB something like that all they're looking for is the words um, alternate segment that's what they're looking for alternate segment angles okay so um, in fact that's what you, you know it's, it's, you just have to write all you can write is alternate segment theorem that's fine alternate segment theorem and that's perfectly fine I'm going to show you afterwards um, how to actually find the angle using some other methods but first of all it says find the value of y giving a reason for your answer now this is pretty simple this is a cyclic quadrilateral and y and 65 are opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral so they add up to 180 so y is equal to 180 minus 65 which is equal to 115 degrees so we can say y is equal to 115 degrees and you can say opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral and that's perfectly fine cyclic uh, quad quadrilateral okay so opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral that's perfectly fine now um, yeah as I said I'm going to show you another way of finding this x being 55 and what I'm going to do is as follows I'm going to um, think about where the center of the circle is first. Let's say it's about there. It's not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to just put a point here and call that the center of the circle. It's not that accurate, it doesn't matter. That's, I've made that the center of the circle, so I'm going to call that O. Okay. Now, I know that this is the center, so OA is the radius, so this angle here is 90 degrees. I also know that this angle is 65, so this angle must be 130 degrees, because angles at the center, subdended by the same arc, are twice angles at the circumference. 
So C, B, A and C, O, A come from the same two points. They're standing on the same arc. But the one at the center here must be twice the one at the circumference. So that's 130. Now if this is 130 and this is the radius and this is the radius, these two must be the same. So that's 50 left divided by 2, 25. And this is 25. Okay. So now what I can say is if that's 25 and that's 55, and this is a right angle. 55 plus 25 is 80. This must be 10 degrees. If this is 10 degrees, okay, and we know this angle is 115 because of the fact it's a cyclic quadrilateral, I can then find what x is. x is 180 minus 115 plus 10. So it's 180 minus 125. 180 minus 125 is 55, which is exactly what we found earlier. Now that would be a lot more explanation for you to write down, but, um, but that is basically how they prove what theorem we used here, which is the alternate segment theorem. That's, how, that's what you do to prove it. Okay, so if you do forget the theorem and you're able to find x by adding these lines and doing so, then of course you're going to get the marks, which it's just taking a lot of time. However, if you, if you know how to use the theorem, that makes life just that whole lot easier for you. That's all. So if you understand the fact that a tangent meets a chord, the angle between them will always be equal to the angle standing on the same chord on the other side of the circle. So this angle X is standing on D a okay and da is the chord which makes an angle of 55 with the tangent so the angle between the tangent and that chord is equal to the angle which stands on that chord but on the other side of the circle not on this segment and that segment opposite segment opposite segment for where the tangent meets the chord okay so that's how you can you know that x is 55 by alternate segment theorem as i've written there okay so that's a bit of a explanation there just to make you understand um thank you for watching and the next question should be the next one in the playlist